everyone, welcome to episode in the React Foundation series. In this episode right here, we're going to be fixing the code that we have uh, to get it working right. Now, in the previous episode, we got stuck over here on the sign in form, and it keeps saying that, you know, when I click sign in, it, it's going to get requests, even though we've set it up to that it should go to the post request. So there's actually something in our code, in our front end code that's not right, not in the server side code, like I misunderstood in the previous episode. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to fix that problem. So let's hop into the code and take a look at what's wrong. So I, I looked at the, you know, the error message and I figured out, hey, it's going to get. Why is it going to get even though this is going, supposed to be going to post? So it's actually going to the wrong action on the server. Uh, and that's because our code on the client is wrong. Uh, and let's take a look. So over here, what we really need to do is, um, you know, once uh, we do a sign in from storage over here, if, um, if we're not getting the correct response, what we need to do is we need to, um, you know, you know, sign out from here. So basically, we need to set everything to null. So this dot email equals null. Uh, this dot signed in equals false. This dot is loading equals false. So basically, you know, we're you know removing everything. We're not. Um, you know, we need to also remove the local storage. So uh, local storage dot uh, remove item um, email and then local storage dot remove item token. So we need to do these things. So basically, you know, like clear all the like anything that we've stored, you know, now we we it's basically considered that everything that we have is wrong. Like, you know, when, if it's not 200, so then clear out all the token, clear out the email, null everything out. Uh, so we basically clear the state out so we can go back and sign in again. And when we do go to the sign in page, uh, let's, you know, do some introspect into this part over here, which is the sign in. So, um, you know, for signing in, um, we already got the store over here, and we're checking if the store and email to to authentication token exist. We're going to sign in from storage. So what we can do is instead of loading the session uh, here again, what we can do is we can do something like this. We can just pass the store.email and store.authentication token into the sign in from storage. Uh, so we don't have to reload it from, uh, from local storage again. So email and uh, token. So um, if everything is correct, uh, then basically here, we're going to use the email. Uh, and yeah, that's it. We don't need to set the token because the token is going to be um, used from so actually, we don't really need to pass in the token in here. So because you know, the reason why we don't need to is because in the header, it's going to send when we send this get request, it's going to use the header uh, the, the local storage from the header that we implemented in the previous episode. So if you haven't seen that, check that out. And then we're going to check it through there. And then basically, if it's correct, then we're going to set the email of the store to the email that we pass into this function here. So um, that should be okay. So let's give this a whirl. So I'm going to head back into the browser, do a reload real quick. And then uh, now if I do a Zach at codemy.net, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, click sign in, everything is working. Great. Um, so now everything is working correctly. So if I do a reload, um, you know, everything is, it's loading the session. It's verifying the token with the server. Um, you know, everything is working as it should. So as you can see here, it made two requests. Um, one, whoops. So as you can see here, it made two requests, um, one to the, to verify the token and then one to make the, the, request to get the contacts. So now what's missing from here is the ability for us to click sign out. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to implement the sign out function over here. So uh, up here, when we're signed in, uh, if we head over to the component uh, for the member.js uh, here, uh, we need to also, um, you know, implement the sign out button. Uh, so here, Let's go ahead and do just that. So I'm going to do a link. Actually, this is going to be a, a because this is going to use the 
and here we're gonna do a sign out. Okay, so basically um, when we click this button, we want to sign out. So sign out uh, equals E, and then we want to e dot prevent default. And in here, um, we want to access the user, right? So user dot sign out. And then basically here, if we click sign out, we are going to call the user a sign out function. And uh, yeah, on click uh, equals this dot sign out. All right. Um, so if we click sign out, we need to implement the sign out function uh, for, you know, for the user model. Uh, and then basically that's going to remove... Um, the token. So it's going to do a lot of the things that we're doing over here. So what we can do is we can do something like this. So we can have action sign out. And then basically um, we're going to uh, do all these things in sign out. And then basically it, over there, instead of you know, calling all these lines of code, we just do this dot sign out. And we can use the sign out function um, over and over again, uh, as we see fit. Yeah, basically. So great. Um, so now we have a sign out function. Um, and we have in our member area in our member menu, we have a sign out button with a sign out function. So let's give this a shot and see what happens. So do a reload. Uh, there's a sign out button over here. Uh, but it doesn't look too good. So we need to add a class name. So class names. Uh, pure menu link. Sign out. Um, it's not exactly. Ah, so we need to add this as a separate li. So li. My bad. So that should be okay. So I'm gonna paste this guy in like that. And we need to add the correct class name into here. Pure menu item like that. Do a reload real quick. And there we got we go. We have a sign out button now. So if I click sign out. Um, user is not defined. So, ah, so it's basically we need to do const uh, user equal this dot props user dot sign out. Uh, so if we do a reload, we click sign out. And bam. Um, so also when we do sign out, uh, we need to um, make sure that we, we, you know, because right now if I, re if I reload, it'll work. But then because we sign out, it only refresh that, um, you know, that part of the app, but the other part is still not signed out. So what we need to do is we need to, um, in the user, we need to redirect the user to the sign in page. Uh, so we're going to, I'm going to copy this code over here and move this down here as well. So basically when we click sign out, we should be taken to the, yeah, that's, that's the correct thing we should have because we, we don't have any user um, so if I click sign in and I do Zach at codemy.net uh, and I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I click sign in. Now everything's working. I click sign out. I'm back to the sign in page. So that's the correct thing to have. Um, so yeah, uh, so that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Uh, we fixed almost everything. We can now sign in, um, you know, like on our server, we, we are now using the correct, um, data. We're using our data, which belongs to our user. We're not, you know, trampling on any other person's uh, contacts. Um, so this kind of like a good foundation for us. Um, you know, you can see, uh, you know, when you have a single page application, even doing something like sign in, sign out, 
you have to write the code to manage that yourself. Uh, you can't always do, you can't depend on the server anymore. All the server is doing is just outputting the JSON that you request. So you have to make the right request. So when you sign in, you send in the email and the password, you get the token back. When you sign out, you reset all that and then you start over. Um, so yeah. Uh, so with that, we're going to wrap it up. I hope you guys found this useful. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Become a member on our site to get access to all of our content. Um, you know, that's those contributions are what's keeping us afloat. Uh, and we really appreciate it. And so I want to thank all of our members. With that, I'm going to wrap it up. I'll see you guys in the next episode.